from RTO here um, and welcome you to a brand new series. Um, we're calling this one Retro Ranking and this is all about more singles than albums and we're going to take a look at some artists from the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. So anything can be put into this, not just rock music, it'll be any songs that bring back memories from me at the moment, or um, any of the guys that sort of help me out here, we're going to come in a pool, anything that you think we should have a look at. So what we're starting with in the very first episode is a great singer, great rocker, and still going strong to this day, Miss Susie Quattro. Um, I think she's great, always have liked her, even as a young lad, and I mean a young lad. Um, I know um, one of the administrators on the um, Facebook page, Lee, he's actually met her, so I'm quite envious of him. Uh, she's a terrific uh, singer, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you my top 10 um, singles that I really love that Susie Quattro done. Um, we've got a couple of vulnerable mentions as well. So we'll have a look at uh, this little top 10. Okay, coming in at number 10. It's from 1978. Uh, it reached number 41 in the UK charts. And and number four in the US, so it did better in the United States. It's Stumbling In uh, that she did with um, Smokey's Chris Norman. It's a nice little country song. Um, and Chris Norman's a great singer as well. Um, really do like that song. I'm glad it made it into my top ten. Okay, number nine is a song that's not that well known unless you're a bit of a fan it's Mama's Boy came out in 1980 uh, got to number 34 in the UK charts but didn't chart in the United States it's just um, a good rock and roll track and that's all Susie is is rock and roll then it's, it's Susie's style I do like um, that track um, Shame it didn't do more than it did, but on the whole, it is a really, really good track. Then we get coming in at number eight, uh, a really great track which I remember. I was a nine, ten year old when this came out. Tear Me Apart um, came out in 1976, giving my age away now, I think. Uh, Again, got to number 34 in the UK charts and did diddly squat in America. Um, it's just a good old fashioned glam rock song. And considering it was 76 and glam rock was sort of on its way out, Susie comes up with this. Uh, it's very 50s but done with a bit of glam rock, rock into it. Terrific song. Uh, I like playing that song. I like belting that one out. Okay then, coming in at number seven. Uh, this is an album. An album. We're doing singles here. Uh, this single came out in 1975. Uh, 31 in the UK charts. And again, not a thing in the US. Your mama won't like me. This is very funky. Um, I'm not. I'm surprised this didn't make the charts in the United States because it's quite funky and it's very Stevie Wonder superstitious in places. Great track, um, but only made number thirty-one, which was a great shame. Now we're moving into what I call the classic era of um, Susie Quattro. Coming in at number six, and I do remember this in the charts, 1973, got to number 
got to number 14, Daytona Dreamin. Oh, proper glam rock. I remember it coming out. I must have been about, what, six, seven, something like that. Brilliant song. Really rocks. They're just classics. I, mean, I love listening to these classic glam rocky type stuff. Okay, coming in at number five is an absolute belter. I remember getting this on the single from 1978. Uh, number four in the UK, and yes, it did chart in America at number 45. If you can't give me love, this is terrific. Um, really good song. Great guitar side having this. Um, and it's just one of them memorable songs. I've still got it in my record collection somewhere. Okay then, coming in at number four. Another really good track. It was a bit different for Susie, but a great rocker. She's in love with you. Number 11 in the charts in the UK. 41 in America, and it came out in 1979. Really good track. It's got keyboard in it, and you don't get much keyboard in Susie Quattro songs, but it's it's really, really good. Okay, now we're coming into the creme de la creme. And again, I do remember these are coming out. Coming in at number three is the brilliant 48 Crash. Number three from 1973. Memorable song, and I do... And, I just love that 48 crash 48 crash it is great uh, didn't do anything in America well obviously it got to number 3 in the UK yes I was 6 years old when that came out good grief ok number 2 uh, one of her number 1's in the UK uh, US 56 1973's Can The Can. Wow, what a track. It's still one of my favourite tracks from that time. Now, it's just classic. I don't have to tell you much about that if you're into your music. It's Can The Can, for good sakes. So, my number one um, favourite... Uh, Susie Quattro song again was another of uh, number ones uh, didn't chart in America crazy from 1974 Devil Gate Drive I remember this on top of the pops and I've actually put the video of one of the videos from top of the pops in my playlist for you um, Got fond memories of this. Uh, we all loved it at school, and while I was at school in my lower, in my lower school, we all sat at tables. And on my table, there was four of us. Now, there's one person on that table that I'm not going to say their name because they're quite famous now. They're a, a, an actor, and me and him used to sing this all the time at school. Yes, what well, memories? Well, that, that's that's why it's number one of it. It's got so many good memories. We all love that song. Swiggling goes, will you do it one more time for Susie? Yeah. Great, great song. So that's me top ten. So, but I have got some honourable mentions. Uh, first one is that uh, came out in 1974. Uh, got to you. Got to number 14 in uh, the UK. Too Big. The drums, it's that typical glam rock drum. That boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it was a great track. Again, I remember that. And then another one from 1974. Got to number 7, The Wild One. Loved this as a kid. <laughs> oh. It's just nice to reminisce over these great tracks from my childhood. Uh, and the other one I like, now it didn't actually chart anywhere. 
And it's a single, and it's a cover of the Dave Clark Five, um, Glad All Over. Absolutely stonking. Um, check that one out on um, YouTube. Uh, because it's not on the other, it's not on any of the um, greatest hits albums that I've got. Uh, so I had to go and find it to listen to it again, and I found it. So it's now on my, it's on my private playlist. I haven't put it on the public one, but it's on my private one. Um, so that's Susie Quattro. Now we're going to do another one next week. And I have wrote it down. I'll just have a look at the scoreboard. Um, oh yes. Next week is another of my favourite uh, glam rock bands. Um, Mud. So that will be a great one to do. Um, in the comments... Um, if you if you tell me if you've any memories of these songs that I've just um, mentioned, because most of them songs from that era have got stories. Um, but and also any suggestions of bands we can look at that made some great singles. Off the top of my head, um, I was talking to my um, PR guru. The other night, um, we're going to do. Th we come up. We're going to. We are going to do an Elvis, and I'm hoping you're going to get someone on on that one because they are a huge Elvis fan. Uh, they've been to Graceland and all that. We're going to look Elvis. We're going to do look, probably look at Cliff Richard, uh, the Beatles, the Kinks, and then from the 70s, we're going to look at. Um, Probably more like Slades and uh, Rubettes, Hot Chocolate, um, a Madness uh, from the 80s. We're going to look at the Cult, The Cure, Altered Images, you name it, David Essex. We're just going to have a look at some tracks. I mean, you know, I'm brought up on all that, so I have got fond memories of these non Rocky tracks as well. So that's us for today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. We have a marathon tomorrow. We've only got the one show. And we're ranking the albums of the genius of the keyboards, Mr. Jean-Michel Jarre. So that's a good one to look out for. Um, don't forget Thursday, 7 o'clock. Um, we're doing a live stream. Looking at what's coming up. Um, we're going to have a discussion about gigs uh, I'm going to tell you some stories of my favourite gigs and some of the stories behind them and uh, other little bits that I've done in the rock and world wrong uh, so that's going to be quite good it's going to start about seven o'clock we're going to do it for about half hour three quarters of an hour see how things go it's not got a stop time on it. It depends how many people join us. Um, there's an ad on. There's ads on all over the place. Twitter, uh, Facebook, obviously on the YouTube channel. So for now, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great evening, and bye for now.